Today we're going to look at getting started with Rad Tom Picker. Rad Tom Picker is part of Telerik's Rad Controls for Windows Forms Control Suite. The Rad Tom Picker control will allow you to pick the time from a convenient grid of hours and minutes. Many options are available to customize it. Let's go ahead and jump into Visual Studio 2010 and begin exploring this control. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and I'm simply going to go File, New Project, I'm going to select Visual C Sharp, Windows, and then Rad Controls Windows Form Application. I want to go ahead and I'm going to give it a value here of Rad Time Picker TTV and select OK. Next up, I'm going to place a checkbox here in Telerik.WinControls.UI. And when I place a check in that, you can tell that a couple of other components were added for us. And that just means that those are necessary in order to use the Rad Time Picker Control. So from there, we'll go ahead and we'll hit the Finish button. So once our project finishes spinning up, we're going to simply go over here underneath References, and we're going to see that Telerik.WinControls Telerik.windcontrols.ui and Telerik.common has automatically been added to the project for us. I'm just going to double click on Form 1 to begin. So once we click on Form 1, we can look over here in our toolbox. And inside of our toolbox, I've just added a couple of items here for us. The one that we're most interested in here today is going to be the Rad Time Picker. So I'm going to simply drag and drop this control onto the form. Let's go ahead and let's run it and see what we get right out of the box. We just simply run the control. We can see that, of course, we can toggle these fields up or down if we wish from 547 to the time. We can also switch between AM and PM. And this is also being set from the local date. But one thing to note here is that in the middle you see this little clock. And if you click on the clock, then you're presented with this time layout. So with the time layout, we are easily able to select which time we would like for the current control to be. So in this instance, I just picked 2.05 p.m. and we can select close here. Now, there's a couple of other things that you can do with the control as well. And let's go ahead and explore those. So let's go ahead and let's select the rad time picker. And let's scroll back up to the top and let's look at the clock position. So the default is clock before tables. We can also change that to clock above tables. So if we run the app here and we click on this, you can see the clock is above the tables. Now there's a couple of op other options. So we just looked at clock above tables. We can also hide the clock. So we come back here and we run the app. We notice this time there's no clock that's visible. And we can also, and I'm just going to switch that back to where we were at before, we can also come down here to the bottom and we can look under timetables. And under timetables we see we have hours and minutes in two tables. We can combine that easily into one table by selecting hours and minutes in one table. And if we run the app now and we click on the clock, the hours and minutes was, has been combined into this one table here. So there is no longer the option to select from two tables. So that's not all that we can do here. If we scroll back up, we can set the culture. So the culture by default, it's set to whatever your local machine is. I'm just going to scroll down here and I believe I'm going to use a Persian clock. So now that we set it to a Persian culture, we'll go ahead and we'll run the application. And we can see here that now the RAD time picker has been localized to the Persian culture. So I've just reset the control back to where we started to show you another feature. The RAD time picker can also be customized to give it a look and feel of your own. Let's take a look at customizing the table that appears when you click on the clock icon from the RAD Time Picker control. In order to customize the cells, we will need to add an event handler to the time cell formatting event. So we have our RAD Time Picker selected. I'm just going to click over here on events and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and we will see time cell formatting. And I'm going to paste in a code snippet that I've already prepared. So as we see here, we're setting the gradient style to a solid. We're setting the margin to a padding of two. And if it's a minute, we're going to set the back color to lime. 
else we're going to set the back color to green. So if we run the application and we select the clock, we can see that for PM we have this darker green and then for minutes we have the lime. So it's also worth noting that the clock of the dropdown is exposed as a separate clock control. So we can come here and we can drag two instances of the rad clock control onto the form. Let's just go ahead and we'll select another rad clock. Just kind of even these up just a little bit here. And we'll go and we'll switch to our code behind and we will just drop in two lines of code here. So for our first rad clock we're just going to show the system time and for our second clock we're going to set dot offset to a new time span of 8 and this clock will actually be for Bulgaria. So if we run the application here we can see uh, this is the current time which is central and this is the time in Bulgaria right now. You could also add a label up here at the top if you wanted to make these a little bit more descriptive. So thank you for watching and please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements. Thank you.